It's Miniature Monday, and do you know where your miniatures are? If it's a three-pack of Bloodstone No Warriors from Reaper's Reaper Bones Black series, then they're right here. Uh, we got three very, very aggro-looking gnomes, full up decked out in armor. Um, really, I, I think it's a long time coming. I think... Uh, I think we needed some good gnome miniatures um, out there. So uh, I don't think they get enough representation in miniature form. Unless you, of course, like have a bunch of older, super old Grenadier miniatures. And you try, and they're humans. And you try to mix them in with the uh, miniatures that are available now. Since they're gargantuan in size. Yeah, then you have a lot of gnome miniatures. <laughs> but uh, these these are, you know, this is fine. Um, let's see. I think I paid $5.99. For this from Meeple's Games. That would be in West Seattle. I was uh, hanging out with a friend there. And uh, yeah, I said, hey, <laughs> where's your game stores? And <laughs> and that's the one he took me to. Um, yeah, it was, they're friendly. They had like a little cafe in there with a coffee shop. And again, there's some old school dudes playing some first edition D&D. It was a lot of good stuff there. So uh, if you're in the Seattle area, check out Meeple's Games. So let's put these out here. Um, let's put them out here on the table, and then one by one, we'll get this to focus in on them. This one looks a lot like some sort of gladiator, like maybe a dark sun version of uh, of uh, a gnome. You got a nice face mask there with some spiked gauntlets. Um, yeah, if you ever play. Dark Sun, which is, I don't know, I don't know if it came out in 3rd edition, 4th edition, or what have you. Uh, I think it's heyday was 2nd uh, edition. A lot of stuff by the artist Braum on there, so uh, good stuff there. So, as far as the detail goes, so there's quite a bit of detail going on in this. It would be really fun to paint. I'm going to have some fun doing that. Let's put you over here. Let's take a look at this guy. You don't look almost more like a gnome as much as you do maybe like a goblin of some sort of like some sort. So not you don't really look like a gnome at all. So uh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to get creative with the painting on this to make it look like a gnome. But uh, kind of maybe these bloodstone gnomes are more or less the uh, like the the evil gnomes or like the how uh how uh Durger are the uh dark dwarves and drow are the dark elves maybe bloodstone is what we got for gnomes you know who knows um don't know the lore of it i'm pretty sure it's something just uh reaper made up but there you go it looks like it's kind of a bat with the little teeth or razors on the edge of it and a bit of a buckler right there i thought that was kind of cool so the reason i got these with the armor and everything is because I play Hackmaster, and Hackmaster, they have a race called Gnome Titans, which are kind of Spartan gnomes, which these could, some in some cases, pull off. So, I don't know, kind of like the sword, the knife there, but I might actually swap that out with something else. The shield's pretty cool. So it's like banded mail, what we got for uh, armor there. I like that. The pointy ears sort of thing going on. Let's see what's going on. Is that pointed ear? No, that's not pointed ears. It's just part of the helmet. I can't help but thinking all these sort of look like goblins. But, I don't know. I gotta get really creative with the painting on them. And we'll, we'll make them look like what they're supposed to. So, for a size comparison, we got uh, our elf here. That's in a sad, sad, sad need of... Uh, some painting we'll put you right next to here and so they ain't come with any bases they normally don't for these reaper ones but that's pretty much what we got as far as a size comparison goes let me try to so that's what we got there so anyway at this time, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If not, and you feel a thumbs down is necessary, 
that's okay too. I'm not forcing you to like me. And uh, if you like stuff like this, you want to see me open up stuff at my own expense, just so you can not, if you think the item sucks uh, at your expense, then, you know, hit subscribe. It'll uh, give you a little notification every single time I decide to do one of these videos, which I try to do every Monday, but sometimes, well, life happens and I'm not able to. Anyway, thank you for watching and have a great night.